And welcome back, everybody. Processed foods, they are everywhere and usually pretty cheap, but the money you save may actually cost you your health. Registered dietitian Elise Misha from St. Mary's Fitness Center joins us now with a look at this very hot topic. A lot of people seem to be talking about processed foods. And in general, what does the term processed mean when it comes to food, Elise? So the term process really refers to any food that's been altered from its original state. I think when a lot of us hear process, we think of fast food, frozen dinners, packaged meals, and those ready-to-eat snacks. But there's actually, there are different levels of processing. Um, minimally processed foods are those that may have been mechanically altered, but not necessarily chemically altered, such as frozen vegetables or bagged nuts. Um, it's really important to make, uh, to figure out the difference between minimally processed and highly processed foods. And so, the, so if there's a different types, why are, they, are these foods considered not so good for your health, right? I mean, there's some that are and some that aren't. can be confusing. Absolutely. Um, so a minimally processed food with health benefits would be something like whole grain bread. Um, but the highly processed foods, in order to increase their shelf life, a lot of food manufacturers will add preservatives, especially in the form of sodium. Um, we also see a lot of added sugars and fats in the form of trans fats or saturated fats. Additionally, processing methods such as chemical additives, cooking, um, and heat sterilization can kill and destroy a lot of the natural vitamins and minerals found in these foods. Okay, so this is a big one, right? We see it everywhere, the label natural and organic. So does that mean that those are void of preservatives and additives? I wish. This is actually a huge misconception. Um, the Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, does not have regulation over the term natural. So it's really up to food manufacturers to define that for themselves. Um, a great example is high fructose corn syrup. High fructose corn syrup is considered a natural food item. However, I would never consider it a nutritious food item. Um, and organic really refers to the way that um, the agricultural products are grown and processed. So uh, organic crops need to be grown in safe soil, um, not have genetic modifications, and they are not allowed to use synthetic substances. However, that doesn't, um, it's not the same as processing the food. And those GMOs that everybody seems to be concerned about as well, not in organic food. All right, if people have more questions for you, Elise, they want to ask you a few things, how can they do that? How can they get hold of you? Um, they can go ahead and contact us at the St. Mary's Fitness Center um, and just give us a call or shoot us an email. And stmarysreno.com uh, as well. There's also a number there on your screen. And if you want more information, of course, you can always go to our website as well, minus4.com. Thanks so much for being with us. I appreciate it. Coming up next, a look at your forecast with Tim. Hi, Tim. Good morning to you. We do have a flash flood watch in place again today. We do have the chance for heavy, slow-moving storms once again. And that chance continues on the seven-day forecast. We'll look at that coming up after the break.